Welcome to the Rusted Garden. Today I'm going to show you how to start seeds without having to start them indoors in winter. You don't have to go and buy grow lights. You can certainly do those if you want. I love doing that. Um, you can set up a winter sewing system. And winter sewing is basically using plastic to create sort of a mini greenhouse and these just go outside. Even if it gets down to 32 degrees, a few degrees below, this protects your seeds that are starting. They will germinate, they will get enough sun that they do well, that they're not going to be spindly, um, they'll be nice and stocky, and this is just a way you can start your own vegetables indoors really without having to worry about buying grow lights or managing them. Now the setup is pretty simple. I'm going to show you the build on these two and I'll give you a quick look at what I'm doing winter sowing wise in a second. These can also be used to acclimate your plants to the sun. And why is that important? I've talked about that in other videos. These have all been grown indoors under lights. They have no idea what the intense sun is like. If I put this flat out there today, it got full sun, it would damage all these leaves and you're going to have loss of your seedlings and your transplants. Same thing over here, that's a pepper and a tomato. They've been all growing, they've been both growing indoors for at least 60 days. They're really healthy. If I put it outside, the sun's going to damage the plants greatly. Now, there's no exact recipe for acclimation. It's basically a principle of slowly transitioning your plants that you've grown indoors, your transplants outside over about a seven to 10 day period. But it can vary greatly because if you take these out in the first two days, there's no sun, it's kind of cloudy. They're going to acclimate a little bit easier if you're in an area where it's intense sun every day. So I thought, how can I set up a system to make this easier for me that I don't have to worry about bringing them in at night if the temperatures drop a little bit? How can I protect, protect them from the intense sun? And I came up with really using these boxes. We're going to use the boxes for winter sowing, they're dual purpose, and we're going to use them for acclimating the plants. Let me just show you an example of winter sowing right here. Again, the plants here have all been started indoors. Today is March 3rd. This is just a plastic shoe box you can buy at really any store. They were about a dollar. I actually got a big, uh, I, don't know, I hate when you lose your words when you turn 50, um, a set of four was only $2.33, so they were on sale. So that's almost free. You set them up as if you were going to start seeds indoors. Just get your seed cells, fill them with a normal starting mix, put your seeds in. And again, uh, today is March 3rd. These were started on 225. Just put the lid on it. There's no hole in this. On the smaller kits like this, you don't need a hole in there. You can put one in there if you're concerned about it overheating or you feel like you want um, air circulation in there, that's up to you. But you can see the herbs are coming up right in here. I can see them popping up here and over here. These are flowers. I think these are profusion of red zinnias. So typically when you do winter sowing, you're using the cool weather crops, the crops that like 40 degree nights, 60 degree days, they can take a frost. Um, but these flowers are warm weather plants, so they're doing fine in there too. Over here is cilantro some different kales, and you can see from touching them, they fall over. They're not even used to the wind. I mean, they're just not tough. They look great, but they've not toughened up to the wind, sun, or changes in temperatures. Thyme, different lettuces. All of these can be winter sown just like this. So this is a small scale, and you may want to do something like this, where you just get four of these, it's easy to bring it at night. If it's going to get really cold, like into the low 20s, bring these in. If not, they can stay outside. And you can seed start as much as you really want for whatever your garden purposes are. So let me move this out of the way. So that is the principle of winter sowing. Putting your seeds into a starting mix, into a container that's not crystal clear, and just letting them be sort of mini greenhouses and let them do their thing outdoors. Now, you could use something like this. It's bigger for winter sowing too. You would just take whatever seeds you want to start and you can see that we can put really at least five of those six cells in there. And that would be plenty of seeds if you're you know, doing six tomatoes, six peppers, 
you're starting your cool weather crops. Again, peppers, tomatoes, you might want to do a little bit, I'm in Maryland zone seven, a little bit later in March when the nights aren't getting quite freezing, winter sowing will work for these too. But let's just say we've been doing everything indoors and we have to acclimate these plants to the outdoors. And again, acclimation is so important because these plants have no idea what the sun, the wind, temperature changes are, even the rain are. And if you put them right out into a full sunny day, they're all gonna get damaged. Now, you wanna acclimate plants over seven to 10 days, but it can be a pain because if you work, where are you gonna put them? Are you going to bring them in? What if it's a cloudy day and it turns sunny? It can be really, really problematic. So you can set up a system just like this. Your indoor plants, if they're taller, you're going to need a taller bin like this. We'll go into something just like that. For the bigger plants, I'm going to want to put a hole in it. Let me slide this back. Just to let some air circulate and I'm just going to put a knife right here. If you want, you could just put a bunch of little holes. It's going to be a little bit hard to see. Just the size of the knife around. I prefer to do it this way. Put in a bigger hole. Use the knife to scrape the plastic away. shave off the excess. You should always push the knife away from you. When I went this way, I just cut it to my hand. But that's going to make a nice hole to let moisture out, to let some air in. And the way that you can cover it is you can buy wire mesh. This is for screens, for placing screens. And this one that actually has some tape on the back, just grabbing some scissors, and you would just cut a square of screen that will cover the hole. You want to do this because this will help keep bugs out. If you were putting lettuce in here, somehow aphids and stuff like that always find their way to your plants. If you were to bring these back inside, then the aphids and the insects can get to your other plants. Now, what I didn't realize when I bought this screen is that the sticky uh, tape on the back covers the holes. So right over the hole, just get a toothpick and poke out all the holes. If you're in an area, again, like I said, I can't give you an exact method for acclimating your plants, but you want to do it over seven to 10 days. If you're in an area that gets really warm during the day and cold at night, you may want to put in some bigger holes around here just so the heat doesn't build up in here. And that you're just going to have to design. You can put some on the side if you want. You'll just have to design it to meet the needs of your plants and meet the needs of your growing area. And again, I would load this up with all of my taller plants. This would go right on top and I would just put it outside and let it acclimate. Now, here's the interesting thing that I was trying to figure out. The sunlight can still get in here because it's not crystal clear. It's going to block some of the UV rays, but you can also make something with sunscreen. Sounds crazy. I know just a little bit of sunscreen. And if you don't know how sunscreen works, it has a titanium powder in it. And when you put it on your skin, the UV rays hit the titanium, deflects the UV rays away. And that's the same process you're going to do. This is just hand soap, a good amount of hand soap, and about 50-50. You're going to just mix it together. And this is what you might use for the first three to five days, especially if it's really sunny. Fingers, and just put it on your plastic. It's just like you're putting sunscreen on yourself. Now you don't have to do all of it. Let me just show you real quick. So you'll do the top, because the sun will come in there. And let's say you want to turn this to the south part, 
to the south facing sun basically so that the sun if the south is right here it's going to track this way and you're going to get most of your intensity right here so you're just putting the sunscreen and the soap where the sun's mostly going to go through and that will actually block out the UV rays stay there when it's not raining and then when the rain comes because it's soap this is going to wash off and it's going to let more sun in and you could just do this you know whenever you're going to have a full Sunday do this over a seven day period and your plants will be perfectly safe in there with the acclimation process now you got to test it out because I'm in Maryland Zone 7. You may have to do something a little bit different. If you don't want to use the soap and the sunscreen, you could also use mud, to be honest. You could just put a thin layer of mud, anything to, you know, cloudy up the plastic. Um, some light will still get in here. The plants will start getting used to it. When it rains, you know, the thin layer of mud will come off. But this is a great way to acclimate your plants. Now. This is good for a few big plants. Let me move this out of the way. And you're going to need that if you're growing peppers and tomatoes because by the time they're transplant size, they're going to look, you know, just like I showed you. Now, here's a bigger container. This was $14. Same thing, I like spending a little bit more money to get the one with the handles, let me bring it down here, so that you can close it under there and it's going to be sturdy. So that when you pick this up, remove it, the bottom's not going to accidentally fall off. Now there's also a rim here, so you, in theory, could drop your plants on here. You could bottom water and do everything I've talked to you about in other videos. But this is a great size, $14. You could do probably all your seed starting in here. And let's just say, for example, we're going to do some winter sowing first, and then we'll set it up for acclimation. You know, all of these trays can go in here. You get the idea of how much we could start by winter sowing. It's going to hold at least one flat in about a half, but let's just say this is what we want to do. We, this is all we want to start. Again, don't need the grow lights. Set up your seed starts just like this. Cilantro, kale, kale, three lettuces, thyme, more kale, more kale, and that sage. This will germinate outside during the 30 degree day, nights, the cool winters, um, and these plants will do perfectly fine. And you would just sow your seed, Lock this in place, take it outside and let it be. The only time I would really bring it in if it's getting down to the low, mid-20s, you know, it'll save yourself the risk of them freezing. But your cool weather crops can take a light frost. Now you could also do this, here's some tomatoes. You could do it with your warm weather crops. You're just gonna have to keep an eye on it that you don't want any frost or to build up on the inside. And you can start these really early too. Your tomatoes, your peppers, your warm weather plants doing the same type of winter sowing method. You just might have to wait until the temperatures are dropping to about 35 degrees and not quite getting to freezing. But this is huge, plenty of space. Now for acclimation, we would do the same thing. Let me move that. We're going to just take a regular knife. I might put three holes in here about that size. If you don't want to get the screen, you can just put a cotton ball in there, anything that will let an exchange. If you're not worried about insects, just leave the holes like this. But this is a nice exchange of air, oxygen, carbon dioxide, all that kind of stuff, and it will let out some of the moisture. So again, we would just get the screen, and this was like, here it is. It was actually two, three, four, five of these sheets for three dollars. You can make a bigger hole if you want. Again, keep it about this size, drop it on, and then just poke 
some holes in it. And that will, that's all you really have to do. Now, for transitioning our plants outdoors, acclimating them to the outdoors, I would say you could just take your flat just like that, put the lid on top, clip the sides in place, and for this, because it's not a high side, you don't have to worry about the sun getting in there. Just take your sunscreen and soap, put it over the top, and you would just do that on sunny days. I would do this again over seven to 10 days. This will protect your plants. It's an easy way to act. So you can keep them out on sunny days, just cover it. And you don't have to bring in indi individual plants in and out and keep moving them around. You can just set it like this, go to work, forget about it, and you'll be able to acclimate your plants to the outdoors. And again, do this over seven to 10 days. When it rains, it's gonna wash this off because it's soap based and the sun will be able to get through on a cloudy day, it won't hurt your plants, but it's a perfect way to really make that acclimation process much more simpler. And you could make three or four of these if you have a lot of plants, just set them out there and, and you're good to go. Hope you enjoyed the video. This is gonna show up in the Rusted Garden show, probably episode, I don't know, five or six if you wanna to subscribe to my channel. But I didn't wanna go into all this detail on the show. I'm just gonna highlight you know, what we did and I'm gonna to link to this build. Please check out my seed shop at www.therustedgarden.com and thanks for watching.